The Internet was started as a Department of Defense project to provide uninterruptible connectivity in 1969 when I was an IBM salesman selling the big iron. The Internet today exceeds a zettabyte. That's a one followed by 21 zeros. The Internet has two parts, the dark web and the surface web. Here's a 47-year brief. The first text-based web page was launched 22 years after the Internet was started by Sir Tim Berners-Lee on an XPC, developed by the late Steve Jobs when he was fired from Apple. The first image semantic tag was introduced by the University of Minnesota graduate students and three years after the launch of the first website. It increased interest, popularity on the web, and started the browser wars. Website standards include a protocol, a browser, www, a uniform resource indicator, a website, a uniform resource locator, a web page, domain names, and validation tools. The free validation tools check semantic scripting and style codes with one click of the mouse by simply entering the website address and clicking check. And the results are color-coded green for valid, blue for warnings, red for errors for correction and validation. Many users don't know the browser, the operating system, or software version used to surf the web. Crossbrowserchecking.com checks browser compatibility. Unique visit bounce rates and time on site or stickiness are two key statistics revealed by this free website. Proper title description and keyword semantic tag construction are essential for discovery indexing and cataloging content. And search engine optimization consultants sell this service. The internet has enjoyed unimagined growth, but everything peaks, reaches a saturation point. Example, Microsoft, website registrations, and Apple. But not Facebook, with over one billion users and even though Mark Zuckerberg speaks Mandarin, they're not in China yet. Thank you.